All right, I'm trying to come up with many different cardio and plyometric options for you to push yourself on Tuesdays and Thursdays so you'll be ready for our class when we get back. And if you have a season coming up, you'll be ready for it. First one is a jump squat where you're trying to really get low on the bottom side, keeping your hands by your chest so it's just isolating the, the legs and, you know, no arm swing for this one. Going to help you jump higher, help you run faster, just a great overall explosive movement. The next one, you think about the opposite arm and knee, just like you're sprinting and your sprint form and trying to lunge while you split jump up as high as you can off the ground with good posture, good arm pump, and just trying to now put more emphasis on single leg explosiveness, which again is going to be a speed enhancer. This is one we do a lot in my class and we do a lot of forward explosive and uh, this is a great one for side to side. It will help you change direction athletically. It'll help you, uh, you know, kick or throw, you know, a soccer ball or a baseball, football, any kind of that glute medius, the side of your glute strength is good for you. And you're trying to keep your knee inside your toe and the arm swing like you're sprinting as far as you can on each jump side to side. This is a great coordination. Um, again, getting you to kind of fine tune your sprint form. Good posture. Arm pump is in sync with the hand and the knee, opposite hand and knee. And just a good little hop in between each of the knee lifts. Again, perfecting that arm pump and with the opposite knee coming up and the opposite hand coming up and just kind of getting that front leg turns into the drive leg and the, the uh, knee pops up into the chest and really thinking about kind of the, something that will help your sprint starts. On Wednesdays, we do a lot of explosive jumping like this. And so uh, this will get you ready for that. But not touching the ground long, not loading up long. It's a touch and go thing where your knees come into your chest and your feet stay into your hips and your arms are helping to swing to get a little more momentum on that fast jump, jump to jump. This is one of those ones you guys, you do as much as you want to push yourself. Your reps, your choice. This is we do this daily as a warm up and as a uh, faster version for uh, kind of coordination and speed gains. But great one to just kind of, again, perfect the form, get your breathing, burn fat and uh, just overall going to get you faster. This is another one we do daily, trying, we call them butt kicks, trying to get your heel up by your butt and feel your quad and all the knee area. You're just loosening things up. Again, you got the arm pump just like you would be sprinting and staying on the ball of your foot, just trying to be as athletic in the movement as possible. This is a tough one. This is especially going to be tough near the end of these other exercises you've done. But if you look at our Wednesday day uh, workout in the weight room day, we have power clean or high pull is our explosive lift. And so if you think about the form that you use to get the bar up near the chin before you flip it, then you look at this movement, they're very similar. So from the knees, you're basically letting the arm swing help and this is going to be a great one to get you ready for the Wednesday power clean high pull day.
most of what we've done is using the whole lower half. It's going to help your, uh, your core, but uh, this one kind of isolates uh, the Achilles heel, the actual foot itself, and then your calves. So it's a good one for your vertical jump and your overall just stride to stride to improve your speed and a good one to kind of finish with. This is your 10th and final exercise. Again, it's your choice on how much you want to do. And uh, I know some of you guys are driven more than the others. And, uh, you know, 